Well, then that's where things get sexy, my friend, because that's where we make the cashola, the moolah, the cheddar, the bacon, and all the other fancy words for money. Here's the fastest way to get to 10K a month in 2023. This is my man, Giala Kanai. Giala Kanai, he takes entrepreneurs on a journey to grow the business. One of the most common mistakes that I see early stage or aspiring entrepreneurs make, they think that in order for them to have their own business, they have to create their own product or service, or maybe even potentially invent something. In fact, if you're an aspiring entrepreneur, have you ever said to yourself something along the lines of, it feels like all the good ideas are taken? Well, the good news is I was there once too. And what I'm gonna break down for you in this video is what helped me actually break through that limiting belief. Now, it should probably also be said that I've been in business for quite some time now, so I've seen lots of different strategies out there. I've hung out with people that have their own Amazon stores, people that are doing drop shipping, people are doing e-commerce, meaning that they've created their own clothing brands or some sort of tool or white label product. I've seen all sorts of stuff. And yet I have not seen anything that gets somebody to 10K a month faster than what I'm about to break down for you in this video. Now, I wanna be very transparent with you. I might be biased. What I'm about to share with you is literally how I went from working in a coffee shop for minimum wage to eventually quitting my job within about seven months or so, having my first $10,000 a month and now going on to do millions and millions of dollars online. And while I can't guarantee that you're gonna get the exact same result, obviously it takes work in order to create success, I am gonna show you pretty much exactly what I did. So the first question might be, what do we need in order to build an online business from scratch? And really we just need two things. Number one, we need an offer. This is a product or service that is solving a real problem in the marketplace. And number two, we need an audience. We need a group of people that is looking to solve that problem or get that desire fulfilled. And of course, the bigger the audience, the more money that we can make by selling something to that audience. Now again, what most beginner entrepreneurs do is they think that they have to create their own offer, when in fact you do not. Instead, by becoming a freelance marketer, which is ultimately what I'm talking about in this video, we don't go out and create an offer, a product or service. Instead, we already find a product, offer or service that is currently selling in the marketplace. In other words, we don't have to guess whether or not this product is going to do well. We know it's gonna do well because it's already selling in the marketplace and we can verify that information online. So instead, as a freelance marketer, we don't create a, an offer from scratch. Instead, what we do is find one that's working and we partner with that company to then refer customers to that product or service and get paid a commission when we do so. Now here's how we make that happen. Instead of putting the offer directly in front of the audience, which is something that you see fairly often. How often are you going to Facebook or Google or YouTube or whatever, and you see some sort of an advertisement for a product, you click on it, and next thing you know, you're looking at a pair of shoes or a, a set of tools or you know potentially a car or whatever it is but most people do not buy the very first time that they see a product so what we do as freelance marketers is something just slightly different instead of putting the offer directly in front of the audience that we want to sell it to we reverse engineer a step and we add in place what is called a sales funnel and a sales funnel will typically start with something called a landing page. So we reverse engineer and create a sales funnel that we're gonna put in front of the audience. Then we find that audience online and we deliver this sales funnel and put the sales funnel in front of them using something called ads. Just like the ads that you see all the time when you're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and so on and so forth. Basically everywhere we go on the internet, we are you know inundated by advertisements these days. And if you're not the one that is placing the advertisements, well then guess what? You're the product that's being sold instead. In other words, those platforms are selling your attention to the advertisers, people like me. But again, I digress. We reverse engineer, create a sales funnel, and then deliver the ads in front of the audience. Let's say as an example that the offer that we want to sell is fat burning soup recipes for weight loss. This is, by the way, a real offer that exists online. So in other words, you download you know, this PDF, you get a bunch of soup recipes, you replace one meal a day with these soups, and you start to you know, burn fat over time and eventually lose weight. But we don't want to put that exact offer directly in front of the audience like I talked about. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to reverse engineer we're gonna build this sales funnel. We're gonna create this little, you know, simple little landing page that says at the very top, you know, the fat burning secret doctors don't want you to know. How to melt fat fast without starving yourself, counting calories, or ever breaking a sweat. 
enter your email here. And we give them a place where they could enter their email for more information. I'll come back to what we do with that here in just a little bit. Then we reverse engineer one more time and we create the advertisements. We go out and we find an audience of people online that are maybe interested in diet, weight loss, exercise, fitness, this sort of thing. And then we create some ads. Maybe we put you know, an image of a woman running down the beach and we say, ladies, wanna get your beach body back before the summer. Or we create an advertisement with you know, some sort of a guy working out in the gym and say, guys, wanna get that movie star physique that you see rampant across Hollywood or whatever it might be. When people then are online just kind of searching the web, they see these advertisements, they click on it, they go over to our landing page, they read that headline, it says, the fat burning secret doctors don't want you to know, how to melt fat fast without counting calories, breaking a sweat, or ever starving yourself. Enter your email for more information. Some of those folks are going to want more information, so they're gonna enter their email on that page. That is going to go into what we call an autoresponder, which I'll come back to in just a moment, but we'll put AR here for short so we can remember autoresponder and they are immediately taken over to the offer. They can watch the video, they can read about the offer, they can click a button on that page that says buy and they can go ahead and they could check out right then and there. But oftentimes they don't, they want more information and that's okay because remember we have their email address. So inside of this autoresponder we can create an automated set of emails that are going to follow up with this prospect or what we would now call a lead because they clicked, they went to our sales funnel, they gave us the information, in other words they raised their hand, they said I'm interested in this thing that you have to sell, which would make them a qualified lead, and now we can follow up with that lead on autopilot. We can follow up with them via email for days, weeks, months, even years. You know, at one point in my business, I had over a hundred days of email follow-ups in my business. That meant that if you opted in, if you saw one of my advertisements, went to my landing page, gave me your email address, for the next 100 days, I was going to send you an email about the offer, product, or service that I was promoting, and I didn't have to sit down in any one of those days and actually do it. It was all set on autopilot. So we then take their email address, we begin creating some follow-ups, and we begin following up with that person, sending them more and more information about the product that we're trying to sell. Maybe in those emails we include testimonials. Maybe we do some objection handlers, so we begin to overcome some of those common objections. Maybe we offer some bonuses, so we say, hey, buy this thing, and I'm also gonna throw in this thing and this other thing. And there's some pretty cheap and even free ways to come up with bonuses that you can offer to that audience. Maybe we even do an FAQ sort of an email where we answer some of the frequently asked questions that keep people from buying, and whatever it is. And over time, we begin to follow up with them over and over again, and eventually when they buy, well then that's where things get sexy, my friend, because that's where we make the cashola, the moolah, the cheddar, the bacon, and all the other fancy words for money. Now, here's where it gets even more exciting. Is that offer that we started with the only offer that we could ever sell to them? No, we have this database, this audience here, and now we can sell them all sorts of other things. If they raised their hand and said that they were interested in weight loss, but maybe they didn't buy you know, the fat burning soup recipes because they have no time to cook, or they have no interest in eating soups, or maybe they've tried something similar before and they said, oh, that doesn't work. Maybe they want a workout program. Maybe they want protein shakes. Maybe they want to you know, hire a trainer to work with them and coach them from home, which is great because that's a product that now sells for probably into the thousands of dollars, which means that we can earn some real high ticket commissions, three, four, five hundred, a thousand, maybe even three thousand dollars per sale that we generate for that potential offer or service. So we are able to now take that audience and repurpose them across multiple offers. We can have offer number one, you know, offer number two, offer number three, and so on and so forth. Now, this audience that we're building here, this is a real asset, by the way, just like any other business wants to develop real assets. As an example, what is McDonald's biggest asset? Well, it's the real estate that it's on. Notice that all of the McDonald's locations are on high traffic real estate. That means it's super valuable real estate. So it's not just the franchise that's sitting on that real estate, but the land that it's sitting on that is growing in value year over year. That's potentially an asset that that business owner could sell in order to make tons of cash all at once in an exit. The same is true here about this asset called an email list. It's something that we could potentially sell, we could lease, we could rent. In other words, people will pay us to mail their offers to our email list. Or we could potentially even just sell our entire email list to a competitor in our space or somebody else in the space that would love to get their hands on more qualified leads that are in the market that they are currently in. So on and so forth. The possibilities here are potentially 
endless. So what I'm bringing down for you here is what I call freelance marketing. It's the ability to start a business from scratch without having any products or any services to offer. Instead, partnering with a business that has a proven product offer or service, and then focusing on the things that matter most to the lifeblood of a business, marketing and sales. And here's why I say this is the fastest way to get to 10K a month. Unlike a business where you have to create your own product or service, and then you have to actually deal with all of the customer hassles, the customer support, the fulfillment, the inventory, the shipping, so on and so forth, which means that there are a lot more variables that you gotta deal with in order to have a successful business. When you have a freelance marketing business, you don't focus on any of that stuff. Instead, you focus only on the things that matter most to a business, which is the ability to market, advertise, and generate sales. See, when I realized this, I went from failing for 12 years as a wannabe entrepreneur to all of a sudden having this massive breakthrough where I realized that if I could partner with a business that would take care of all of the fulfillment and you know the merchanting and the inventory and all of the other hassles that come along with having a business. And I could just focus on the things that matter most, learning how to advertise and learning how to generate sales. And in other words, learning how to acquire customers, the things that most businesses suck at and the thing that causes most businesses to fail. If I could just focus on that and master that skill alone and have the room to master that skill because everything else was taken care of by somebody else, well then eventually I would master a set of skills that would set me free for life. I realized that if I could master that, I would eventually be able to offer my own products or services or create my own products or create my own business of any in any market because I would know how to go out and get customers, the lifeblood of a business. And so that's why I think that freelance marketing is the fastest way to get from zero to 10K a month, not just because I was able to do it in less than a year, not just because you know people in my community that have learned this from me have been able to do it in less than a year, which again, is not a guarantee that you're gonna get the same result. All success takes hard work, dedication, and a host of other characteristics and traits that most people don't have, quite frankly. But it's the only way that I know of to build a business where you focus on the things that are most critical to the success of a business, and that is the ability to get customers and make sales to those customers. You focus on that, well then, you can write your own paycheck for life. So if you are an aspiring entrepreneur that wants to learn more about freelance marketing or how to start your own online business from scratch, then make sure you check out one of the links down in the description. I do sell some training and some coaching on that. And again, that might make me just a little bit biased because this is literally how I went from working in a coffee shop like this to creating multiple seven and eight figure businesses. And on that topic, if you're somebody that is committed to success in both life and business, then make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell notification down below so you get notified notified every week when I drop more content like this. And in case we've never met before, my name is Cal Kanai. I'm an entrepreneur that went from working in a coffee shop like I just talked about to now building multiple seven and eight figure businesses. And I say that so you know that everything that I share on my channel comes from the real world knowledge of things that I've learned and applied in order to create those results. And I share them here in hopes that they help you create similar results as well. And so subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and make sure you watch that next video in the lineup when I'm gonna share with you more of the strategies that help me make some extra money online.